everyone welcome back i am sakshi kesharwal and i'm a math expert in ask iitn so welcome back so today we'll be starting with a chapter name that's data handling right so data handling is a very different chapter so we start from class 6 and the same topic keeps on continuing till class 12 right it's like there are these topics not class 12 generally there is less but in class 11 you will have the same thing like there will be a progression in it like you will be studying this in class 6 then 7 this much then 8 this much then 9 this much then 10 this much and 11 this much right so there will be a part which you will be having till like from starting from class 6 and going to class 11 right and the step by step the things will what increase right so this is what we have for the data handling so here i think so we like little bit we learned about data handling in like a little bit of in class uh, junior grades also it's not like that this is a very new thing for you because uh, data handling is like something which we do in a day to day life right if anyone says like let's take a simple example of your school marks you give your examination and you see that uh, there are so many test carried on right so let's take how this has been done let's take a simple example now your final exams or maybe your half yearly exams are going on and your maths teacher or maybe your science teacher what she does she collects all the marks right and just see that how many students have like got a good marks then below less than less and less so this is what collecting a data right so let us suppose uh, like uh, she is teaching like you have five sections of class 6 so what you will do you will have the toppers of maths from section a then section b then section c then section c then section d and section e so it means what this is what you're collecting the data you collecting the data of the toppers and then here there will be what the students who have got very less marks let us suppose got what less than 40 marks in your examination that is one more data right so you get a collection like let us suppose 100 student or maybe like 150 or 200 student let us suppose 200 students and like there are five sections so 40 in each so uh, for 200 gave the examination and you have a data of your maths marks right then the rankings we have we give you the ranking and this is all we have been doing since uh, like uh, since i don't know when right you have also doing in your day to day life right so you see that uh, you this is one more example that you see by collecting or uh, by pocket money like you in this month you got the pocket money this and this was your expenses and this was your savings right this is this is a collection of data and the next month you got this much money right and then you did much did you save this much and then you expand that much so this is one more one more thing right and you can do the collection of your clothes right or collections of pens or collections of pencils so whatever you want to do you can just say that yes i have like 100 varieties of pen with me right you can say like that also or i can say that i have five varieties of pen that i use right into day to day life and i have uh, like collections of coins so these are the things which we have been doing like without knowing or maybe the collections of the chocolates you have like you many of the students like just do something like oh you just come to my house and i'll show you the my collections right any type of collections collections of toys collections of chocolates collections of gadgets whatever right so that is what the collections are so, and then you do the comparison right you do the this is this is a very small scale which i'm talking this is a very day to day life thing which i'm talking right so what do you do you do the comparison oh this my one of my friend doesn't have this gadget right i have that gadget right or i have this cloth or whatever right so it's like this but later on as we grow up and we see that this data is not only particular with a day to day life it's very much it's very wide it's very diverse we use this data for many things for many many things i think so most of you watch the crickets or anything you see so in a cricket you see that a particular batsman or particular ball or a particular player is like why he is good you see his average you, you see his uh, like how many matches he played and what is his scores right so you do the comparisons right you take his data how he's playing and how he's doing so we do this right we do so many like we do the collections of the data of the populations the collections of the we do the collections of the information of the number of the girls and the number of the boys in the school right we see like if anyone says that how many students are there in your school so that is also one of the collection right let us suppose you study in like dps let's take a simple example of dps right so dps like let us not don't not in don't take dps let's take an example of ask iitn right so ask iitn is a uh, it has its branches in many centers right it has many centers it has in the uh, middle east as in india right so we can do the comparison how many students are there in the ask iitn this center right x center in the b b center in the y center right so you can ask this is also one of the collection right so these are the thing collection means what you collect the information and which you collect the information that is known as what data data 
that is known as what beta that is that is called data so let's start with it what it is let's go mathematically on that part so you see this uh, data handling right so data handling depends on various to various weightage is like 2 to 3 marks some of the examinations so 5 or 6 marks it all dependent on the school right which is school you go and how the weightage they want to give right so generally 2 to 3 marks or 5 to 6 marks maximum 5 to 6 marks not more than that right okay so what are the things which we are going to cover today we are going to cover today it's like introduction key terms related to data organizing data pictograph and bar graph right so this is the part i think so this first lecture is entirely for your cbse which is there in your ncert and the next lecture which will be the part which is not the part of your cbse but not part of a cbse but not for the grade 6 there's so that will be what for with grade in the 7 right so and you see what is a data data is a collection of the raw facts and figures that you give the information it's like uh, i think so i have to do this right uh, just see this uh, what do you do you take the information from anything just take a simple example like you have a family of like you have a you have let's take a simple more better example like uh, uh, in your class there are 40 kids like and you take like any four two fruits like apple or banana or something like that so somebody will say i like apple somebody will say i like banana more right so this is what collection let us suppose when you did the collection and uh, like 25 kids says that i like apple more right and 15 students says like i like a banana more right so this is what a collection of data right so you do the information you collect the information yes and let's suppose you want to go to the picnic right so uh, let us suppose you two people are thinking let's make a plan and go to the picnic right so what you do you write a nowadays it's like a technical thing so you make a google form and then you float it and you circulate to everyone and then they just give their opinion i want to go i want to country or not right you will write you want to go or not if you if yes then if you are going to country with us or not right so this is what the collections of data and you see that majority people are saying that they want to go for a picnic then you organize the picnic right yes we do this this is what an information is right coming that what you do the recording of the data the recording of the data depends upon the requirement of the data right so you do and everybody has a different way to record the data see what you do uh, you just collect the data collecting data is just one thing right but what you have to do you have to keep a proper record it's like you more make a tabular form or a, like a bar graph form or a pictograph form there are different kind of the representation and the different types of you how you are recording it right it's not like this just you take a raw data and just just jumble it anywhere right if any teacher is going to give you the marks like this only without organizing it properly if your teacher comes and say no they take it like this this is the marks of class 6 your entire marks like uh, the entire like physics teacher gives you sci uh, like uh, english teacher gives you math teacher gives you the like marks of everyone and then say just you search your number and just take your data so do you, you will not find a very convenient right so what we do what a teachers do what a class teacher do she takes the all the collections of the marks from the different respective teachers like from the science teacher math teacher sst teacher english teacher right then what she do she takes your make a report card in a report card she take out your marks let us suppose my name is sakshi then what she do she take out your math marks and then she write it on your report card and then she take out your english marks and you write it in a report card and then she bifurcate every one marks right so this is called the recording of the data right okay now what do you do then you organize it right so data can be organized in a tabular form the later on as i said pictograph then it is a bar graph whatever you want to feel like right so data is represented in the form of using a frequency distribution and a tally marks i cannot write because i think so there is a gif file which is working so my pen will not work okay so it's like this this is a market prog that is frequency distribution and tally marks so you will be learning what is a frequency distribution and a tally marks this year and the same things goes forever till class 11 so please try to understand everything so first learn what is a frequency right frequency is what the frequency is the number of the times a particular values occur in a data first you see like i said as i said that there are 40 students right so there are 40 students and there are the two things that were apples as i said apples and there were bananas right bananas right and uh, apples and it says that 
25 kids like apples and 15 like bananas, right? So what do you, what does this mean? 20 students like apple. So 25 is the frequency of the apple. 25 is what beta? 25 is frequency, frequency of apple. We say this frequency of apples, right? And 15 is frequency of bananas, right? It's bananas. Frequency is like that hum number of the times the thing's going to occur, right? If you take any chocolate, like these are the like mass distribution. So let's take an example, like marks are scored by different students in the class, right? So I took a test of five marks and uh, somebody have got one, somebody have got two, somebody have got three and somebody have got four. So how many students have got one marks? Only one student, only one student, one student got one marks. This is what it is. Please don't confuse yourself. How many students have got two marks? Only two students, like two students, two students got two marks in the test out of five, right? So how many students have got three marks? So three, two students have got, two students got three marks, right? And how many students have got four marks? The only one student, like only one student got one mark. I think so. This is very much clear. That is how the things are like more repetitively. Let us suppose if I say how many chocolates that you have eaten. You said, let us suppose I ate five chocolates. You, you can just say like this. Uh, I said, how many chocolates do you eat in a day? You say that, ma'am, I eat two eclairs and three park and... Uh, for Cadbury, right? So what is the frequency of the eclairs? It's two. What is the frequency of the part is three, right? What is the frequency of the Cadbury? It's again three, right? So it's like this you have done, right? Now, what are the things? How you're going to represent the terms related to the data? Now, this is called the tally marks. How you're going to write the frequency? Frequency means like I wrote it over here, like one, two, three, four. So sometimes it's feel like confusing. So what you do, what you do, sometimes your tally marks is like a very important. Have you seen some of the movies where uh, like the person uh, living in the prison because they don't have any amenities, they don't have calendar. So what you, they do, they just do the tally marks. You just see some of the old movies or wherever you want to see what they do. Tally marks means that it shows a frequency. If a number, if I say the number one, it's represented like this, right? It's like this. If it's written two, then two is written like this. You just write two. What is the three? Three is written like one, two, three. Four is written like this with a one, two, three, four. Now, if I want to write five, so it is going to, if I write like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like this, if I may. So it's very confusing to count or not. So what happened? We have just introduced, we, we started to make a bundle of five because anything you count in the multiple of five and the multiple of ten are very easy, right? So what we did, we did like this, like we wrote one, two, three, four, and then you can do like this or one, two, three, four, and you can cut like this, whatever you feel like. Choice is yours, right? So what we did, we made one bundle. Now, how are you going to write six? Six means what? One bundle of five. So it means what? One, two, three, four, five, and then six. This is how it is written. So if I want to write, say, uh, like 16. So how 16 will be written? It will be written one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then one. This is how it is written. Yeah, this is one. So see, this is way of presentation. Now it is very much convenient. You say that's one bundle, two bundle, three bundle. So five into three is what? 15, uh, 15 plus one is what? 16, that's it. So bundles makes the presentation very easy, right? So this is how it has been represented, right? Now let's do this question. Now following is the choice of the suites of 30 students of the class six. Let's take an example. What are the things they have? You have one laddu, you have burpee, you have jalebi, you have rasgulla, right? And there is another thing uh, apart from this, no, nothing. So how you're going to do this? See, I'll tell you, just write it out over there. So this is what laddu, right? You have burpi, right? And then you have jalebi, and then you have rasgulla. This is how we write, right? So you just make a column. Arrange the name of the switch in the table using the tally marks, right? So what you do, you make a table like this, right? So you write over your tally marks, right? Tally marks. And then you write over here as frequency, right? Frequency. And 
Second is what? Over here, you write these type of the suites. This is how we make the tables, right? So you just make a column like this one so that you don't get confused, right? Let me change color. I think so that will help you. How we'll do this? Okay. Now it says Laddu. Laddu is one, right? Then you have Burfi. Burfi is one. Then you have again Laddu, then one. Then Jalebi, you have one. Then again a Laddu and one. Then you have Rasgulla, it's one. Then you have again Jalebi, one. Then Laddu. See, most of you love like Laddu. I also like Laddu a lot. Then you have Burfi, right? Then you have Rasgulla, right? Then you have Laddu. Now this is fifth Laddu, so fifth, right? You have Jalebi, right? Then again, you have a jalebi, right? Four. Then you have rasgulla, right? Then you have laddu, right? You have rasgulla, right? You have jalebi. Now this is fifth. Now this is again a laddu, right? And this is rasgulla. This is fifth. Then again a laddu, right? Then again a laddu, right? Barfi. Third. Rasgulla. This. Again a rasgulla. This. Again, a jalebi, this. Then you have again a rasgulla, right? Again, a ladu. One, two, three, four. Again, a five, right? Now you have a rasgulla, it's like this. And then you have jalebi, like this. And then you again, you have a ladu, right? Now you see how many ladus were like, how many students like the ladu. So this is how you do the calculation. So five plus five is 10 and then 11, right? Okay, now how many of you like the burfi? It's three. How many of you like five plus two, seven? And then how many of you like rasgulla? It's five plus four, nine. So just, I think so I missed one or what? Uh, yeah, it's 30. Just calculate 11 plus three, 14. 14 plus seven, 21. 21 plus 30. So 30 means what? These 30 is what? The number of students, right? Yes or no? These are what? Like frequency means what? 11 students like Laddu, 3 students like Barfi, 11 stu 7 students like Jalebi, and 9, nine students like Rasgulla. So this is how it is being done. So arrange the names of the suites in the tally marks. I did it. Which suite is preferred by most of the students? Who like the maximum student like which suite? It's Laddu. So your answer is this Laddu, right? This is your answer, right? Yes. So I think so. this much is clear. Yeah. Now. Coming to, uh, this is a question. <clears throat> it says that the final marks in the mathematics of 30 students are as well, right? These are the marks. Arrange these marks in the ascending order from 30 to 39, one group, and 40 to 49 in one group, right? So let's see the first, what is the minimum number? Like you have to just do the grouping, right? So what are the groups you can have? Make a like this table. Yeah. Okay. You have to do the grouping, right? Arrange them in the ascending order from 30 to 39, right? So these are the groups. So first is what 30 to 39. The minimum is what better 30 to 39, right? 30 to 39. Then you have 40 to 49, right? And then you have, see, it's, I think, so what's the maximum? It's going till 100, right? So you have to make till 100. Like you have to make the groups till 100. So this will be what better 50 to uh, 59, right? Then you have... 60 to 69, then you have 70 to 79, then you have 80 to 89, and then you have 90 to 100, right? So what it says, arrange them in the ascending order. So what we'll be doing, we'll be writing it down, right? Uh, so let's do this. So let's again do the cancellation. So 53 comes where? So it's 53, right? Now, 61's come over here. So you do. See, this is what we do. So it doesn't make any like, this is the way of doing the questions, right? So this way you can never do a mistake. Just go a little bit slow. Never be in hurry, right? So it's 48. So 48 is over here. 48. Then you have 60 is here, right? Then you have 78 here, right? Then you have 68 again here. 55 here. Right, I'll arrange this later on, but first I'll write it down. Okay, so 100 is over here. Ah, it's 9200. Uh, it will be 99, right? It will be 99. This is the way we will be going, right? And this is going to be 100 to 109, right? So 100 will be over here. We will make one more group. Okay, now 67. 67 is again over here, right? Then you have 90, so 90 over here. Then you have 75, 
75 over here, 88, 88 is over here, right? 77 over here, 37 over here, right? 84 over here, then you have 58 over here, 60 over here, 48 you have over here, 62 you have over here, 56, 56, 56, 56 will be over here, right? 44 over here, 58 you have over here, right? Then again, 52 you have over here, right? Then you have 64, I'm writing 64 over here, right? 98 over here, right? 59 over here, right? Then you have 70, it's over here, 49 over here, 50 over here, and then 60 over here, right? So these are the things which we have written. So you can just, once you have written it down, erase it, do with the pencil, then erase it, and then you write it in the sequence wise, right? So it says that the ascending order, right? Uh, what is the highest score? So highest score is over here is what better? Highest score, what I'll do, I'll just rub this again so that you can just see what is the highest score. Okay, what is the highest score? The highest score is what beta 100, like he got full, right? What is the lowest mark? The lowest marks you can see that from here, that is it is 137, right? What is the range? Range means what beta the highest value minus the lowest value, right? So the highest value, I said, we'll be doing this in the last class, next class, highest value minus lowest value, right? Lowest value. So this is equals to what? I'm doing the third part over here. So highest value is what beta 100 minus of 37 is equals to what beta 63, right? Now coming to the fifth part, if 40 is the pass mass, how many students fail? 40, like students getting less than 40 is how many beta? One, two, right? So it's two, we got the C. If you arrange this data, it's very difficult. But when you have this in the tabular form, it's very easy to say which one is like, what is like, what whatever you want, you can give the answer very easily, right? See how many students have scored more than 75, like more than 75, let's do the calculation. Like I'll take some other color. More than 75, it's like more, 75 or more, right? Right, it's like 75 or more. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, right or not? Eight students have got it, right? Which observation between 50 and 60 have not actually appeared? Okay, so this is correct. So 61 is there, 62 is there, 63 is not there, right? Then you have 64, then 65 is also not there. Then you don't have 66, right? You don't have 66, right? And then you don't have 67 also, right? And then you don't have 68, then you have 69, you don't have 69 also, right? So these are the four observations, which is not there, right? So this is how you see how the tables are making like easier for you, right? Now, how, how many have scored less than 50, like less than 50? So 50 say less, you don't have to count like 50. So less than 50 is how many, like 37, 39, 48, 48, and 44. So how many students are there? Five, that's it. This is how you will be doing the question. So I'll be showing you this thing, just see it's written like this, okay? So this is like, it's arranged over here. So I at first, what I did, I wrote it like this, and then you can later on arrange in a proper way, right? Use a pencil and get it, right? And the answer is over here also, it's written, right? Okay. It says from 50 to 60. Oh, I wrote from 60 to 50. Oh. Yeah, it's 50 to 60, I wrote 60 to 70. Wait a minute. I'll do this. Just see this. Okay, it says that 50 is there, 51 is not there, right? Then you don't have 52 is there, right? I saw 52 somewhere. Mm -hmm. You cannot slide it. Yeah, 52 is there. Then you don't have 53, you have 53. Then you don't have 54. Then you don't have 54, you have 55, then 56, and then you don't have 57, then 58, 59. These are the three numbers, which is not there, right? Now, let's come into the next. What is a pictograph, right? 
pictograph is basically a what it's like see there are different ways of presentation of a data like once we have done like the presentation of a data in the tableau form right and there's other way of presentation of a data in the pictograph form but you study this pictograph for a junior grades from 7th standard we don't prefer anything from the pictograph because it's very cumbersome thing to do right so pictograph means what just to make uh, like a data handling a little bit uh, a lucrative or like a more presentable and the student enjoy doing it so we do such stuff right so you just see if we present a data with a picture of an object instead of a number it's called a pictograph just like add, like adam like how many toys it's like well, now pictures make us easy to understand data and answer the question related it to by seeing it right so this is like the observation way like see later on as you will grow up you will like more find convenient to see like uh, we will prefer like uh, tableau form or like the other forms of the presentation of the data but yes for the junior grades is yes because the presentation and the teddy bears and the things and this are made up, so you feel like ah oh, it's nice it's beautiful and it's catchy also right and you feel like yes i want to do it right so it's like this so what happened it says that so anything that you represent the data now i said uh, like adam like two teddies let's take an example right so what is the frequency frequency is two lily likes like four teddies right so it's the frequency is four sarah like how many teddies three so frequency is three and the susan like how many teddies like five teddies so it's like frequency is five sam like how many teddies it's one but here let's read it out what the data wants to say it says that one teddy represent 10 toys means what if i have made this one teddy it means what this is equals to what how many 10 toys right so uh what do you mean by this just take an example now how many adam is liking adam will be liking 20 yes or no yeah adam will be liking how much beta 20 yes or no now it says that lily will be liking this is 10 this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 there's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so lily will be liking how many teddies lily will be liking that number of toys she has is like 40 right so the frequency the lily of the frequency that the number of the toys that lily has is like 40 right coming to the sarah it's like 10 then plus 10 then plus 10 which is equals to one beta 30 right now coming to the susan it's like 10 then plus 10 then plus 10, then plus 10, then plus 10. How many she is liking? Five. That's 50. Like coming and the Sam. Sam have just the least number of the teddies, which she is, which is equals to one bit of 10. This is how the pictograph looks like, right? But this is very important that what it is. But what one thing you just see, if I say to make this much teddies, like how many teddies were there? Two, four, six, nine, nine plus uh, five is like 10, 15 teddies. If I say to make 15 teddies, over and over again it's very cumbersome it's very time taking process so please if we don't prefer so we just make stars we may make like circles or whatever you want to make right so you try to make easy diagrams right so what does an interpretation of and like as we have just right now i only done what is an interpretation i we have already done interpretation of the pictograph in the pictograph we have to understand it and get the information of from the picture given right if we have to represent more more number of items then we use the key and represent more number of one picture that's very clear right so it says that the number of the car parked in the parking lot every day in the pictograph so what does it say one car is equals to represent how many cars five cars so one small car is equals to so you will have so it says that monday will how many cars are parked so it is what five plus five plus five plus five so this is what five into four which is equals to about 20 right now it's like one two three tuesday three four five six seven eight so it will be what beta five into eight which is equals to what beta 40 cars will be parked on tuesday right now 40 and 20 are what frequencies of the cars that has been parked on monday and tuesday respectively now it will have one two three four five six so it is equals to what beta five into six which is equals to 30 right so 30 cars that's the frequency of the cars which has been parked on the best is 30 now it's coming one two three four five so it's like five into five which is equals to one beta 25 so 25 cars will be parked on what beta thursday now find the day when the highest number of the cars were parked and how many right so highest number is Spark. you can see first question you can see without by looking at the picture and how many no so it's like there was eight so yes it's like tuesday right and how many it says then how many is what beta 40 right we just did the calculation what is the least number of the car we did park what is the least so least we have parked it on what beta thursday that's there were five and what was the least that is five into five which is 25 that's it got it right so these are the answers written
Oh, in fact, it's Monday, 20 hours, right? Okay, now let's do one more question on the pictograph. Now, observe the pictograph and answer the following questions, right? <clears throat> Now, it says that this, this is the key, right? This is the key. This is what the beta key, right? This is the key. So please pay attention to the keys. Now, first, what we'll do, we'll solve this pictograph and then we'll solve on the words problem, right? So Monday, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it will be what beta? Two into six, which is equals to 12, right? Now, it's Tuesday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is what? Two into eight, which is equals to how many? Eight bulbs were there. So it's 16. So Wednesday, one, two, three, four. So it is what? Two into four, which is equals to what? Eight. Now, coming to Thursday, one, two, three, four, five. So it will be what? Two into five, which is equals to 10. Now, coming to Friday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is what? Two into seven, which is equals to what? 14. Now, Thursday, Saturday, one, two, three, four. So two into four, which is equals to eight. Now, coming to Sunday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is what? Two into nine, which is equals to what? 18, right? I just wrote it, right? So these are like on Monday, the frequency was 12. Tuesday, the frequency is 16. Wednesday, the frequency is 8. Thursday, frequency is 10. Friday, frequency is 12. Saturday's frequency is 8. And the Sunday frequency is 18. Now let's go on the question. How many bulbs were sold on the Friday? So Friday, how many bulbs were sold? That was 14. That's it, right? On which day the maximum numbers of the bulbs sold? So which is the maximum? We have sold the maximum bulbs on what beta? Sunday, right? So this is Sunday, right? Okay. If one bulb was sold at the rate of rupees 10, then what was the total earning on the Sunday? Like this is like a unitary method also, right? If one bulb, now how many bulbs he has sold? He has sold 18 bulbs. So one bulb, one bulb cost, how much better? Cost rupees 10. Then 18 bulbs, 18 bulbs cost how much beta? Cost will be how much beta? Rupees 10 into 18, which is equals to what? Rupees 180. That's it, right? Now, can you find the total earnings of the week? Total earnings of the week. So, total earnings, how many bulbs we have sold? So, what we have to do, we have to just calculate the number of the bulbs sold. So, how many bulbs we have sold? The number of the bulbs. I'm doing the fourth part, right? So, number of bulbs sold will be how much beta? It will be what? 12 plus 16 plus 8 plus 10 plus 14 plus 8 plus 18, right? So we have to just count it. So 12 plus uh, 20, that is 20 plus 16 is how much beta? 36, 36, 46. 46 plus 14 is how much beta? Uh, 60. 60 plus uh, 18 is equals to what beta? 78. Yeah, 60. Plus 78, 78 plus 8 is equals to what beta? 86. So 86 into how much beta? Now this is 86 bulbs. Mm -hmm. 86 bulbs, right? So the total earning will be how much beta? 86 bulbs. Just see the calculation. It's like 12 plus 30. 12 plus 10, 20, 20, 36, 46, 46 plus 60, 60 plus 78, 78 plus 8, 7. The cost will be how much beta? The cost will be how much? It will be what? 86 into 10 rupees, which is equals to what? 860 rupees, right? Now, coming to if, if a big carton can sold nine bulb, how many cartons were needed in a week and more than seven more than eight or more than nine so total how many bulbs you are selling you are selling beta like eight 86 bulbs right so in a big carton it's talking about a week so let's take a like this in a week like in a week 86 bulbs sold right and one carton one carton one carton can have nine bulbs right so what we will do so the number of cartons will be how much beta the number of cartons 
will be how much it will be what 86 divided by what 9 so you see that 86 is what like uh, you will get this answer in the fractional form it will be what 9 whole like uh, 5 by 9 right or not you see that you are going to get more than like this value is like 9 plus 5 by 9 so how many cart cartons will be required like you will be required more than 9 cartons like required more than 9 cartons or not because 9 into 9 is what beta 81 right so you are just going to do 9 cartons right okay now coming to what do you mean by how do you draw the pictograph right so drawing a pictograph is like the same and it's a very difficult and it's very cumbersome and it's very boring right so just see this drawing a pictograph is an interesting task but it may be difficult to draw some difficult pictures and repeatedly and we have to use the cars and the above example so we see that it is we use easy symbols for a drawing like you draw a circle you draw a star so you draw a heart or whatever you feel like you draw a rectangle whatever you feel like so we use and we must use a proper key of the symbol so that it could be easily understandable to everyone so always please write the key key is the very important thing right so let's let's take an example of this thing now this is a question <clears throat> This is a question. The question is says what beta? The following table shows the choice of the food of thirty five students of the class three and represent the data in the pictograph, right? So what you do, <clears throat> you can just make a mango. Now it says like fruit. So you can what you can draw? You can draw. <coughs> you can draw five circles 1 2 3 4 5 circles right apples were like by how many students like five students 12 students 1 2 3 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 that's it now guava like by three students so 1 2 3 3 3 and lychee have been like by what seven students 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 right grapes are like by what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and your key will be one meter key you will write this this circle is equals to like one fruit right this is how you will be doing this right so just see this is how you have like number it key will be like zero is equals to oh wait a minute hold on i wrote fruits i should write students i'm filling in the form of like students instead of a fruit oh wait a minute wait a minute I, this is like students like so one the key will be equals to what one student right one student so this is how you will be just filling it up right so you just see this in the solution it says that this symbol is equals to what beta two student and this symbol is equals to what one student right so there are different ways of presentation right so this is like two two and this is one right so this is how it has been like done you can just do an apple guava it's like 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then you have guava so guava is like 3 so 1 and this 2 this is one way of doing the presentation two ways of doing the presentation choice is yours right whatever you feel like right so what is a bar graph now let's come into the next heading what is a bar graph bar graph is again as a pictograph is a very time consuming you see that pictograph is a very time consuming so we use the another way to represent the data right so what we do we use uh, <clears throat> Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Something has gone missing. Just a second, dear. Something. yeah things are sorted now just see what is the like basically see over here 
It's a very time consuming. So we use the bar graph of the same width with the equal spacing to represent the data in which the length of the bar represents the frequency and is called the bar graph and the diagram. This is actually the definition. So let me change the color. And this is the actual definition of the bar graph. If we use the bar graph, the bar graph is of the same width with the equal spacing to represent the data in which the length of the bar represent the frequency of the data and is called the bar graph or the bar diagram, right? So you will see that uh, many places you have seen in the movies or maybe like uh, uh, you have seen in uh, various places, like you have seen like such type of tables, like these are the bars made like this. Yeah, something like this, right? So these are the things like it has been representation. So I think so making this is comparatively easy as the bar like pictograph, right? So better version making or instead of representing the data in the form of a pictograph, we use this in the form of a what bar graph, right? So let's take an example over here. The following bar graph tells the favorite numbers of the colors. Now you just see this over here. Now, it's like the favorite students in the class, right? So you see that red is being liked by how many? See, this is like a spacing. Now you just see that the spacing, like if from the zero to one, they have left a one centimeter, then this is again one, then again one centimeter, then this is again one, again one, then again one. So you have to keep the proper spacing, right? Now, if you see that, this is the bar now. It says that now red is being liked by how many students? Like five students. Blue is being liked by how many students? See, so over here, this is a color. This is what bit of color, right? And here it is like the scale. Scale means what a favorite color. So what you do, you have a bar graph. Have you seen like a, a graph sheets? <coughs> if not, then you have to do this question on a graph sheets only, right? So this is how the bar graph is being represented. While we'll be drawing the bar graph, we'll be using the bar graph sheets. And this is like generally, and they have made it on a scale, right? From the scale. So it says that pink has been liked by how many students? Nine students, right? So this is like nine students, right? Yellow is being liked by how many students? It's liked by three students, right? Now, green is liked by how many students? Six students. And blue is also liked by how many students? Six students, right? So this is how it has been done. So we represented like the colors. We say that this is the horizontal line and this is the vertical line. So this graph is said to be what bit of vertical bar graph. Now over here, the bars are what vertically. The bar bars are what bit of vertically. So these are vertical bar graph, right? Vertical bar graph now you just see over here one thing uh that and over here the number of the students is what beta this is called the frequency this is what a frequency is right now it says that answer the following question which color is liked by the maximum number of the student obviously the pink now you see that pink has been liked, and this is very much clear okay so pink is the highest so uh, pink has been liked by most of the student right which color is liked by the same number of the students? So you see that the green and the blue are liked by six and six students. So we say that this is what bit of blue and green, blue and green, right? Yeah. Now, coming to you have seen that this is what a bar graph, you have to do it. Now, what do you have to do? You have to take the scaling. Now, what, what kind of the bar graphs you have? You, you see this one block. Take the one block, right? Take just only one block. This is one block, take this block, right? So this block is divided into how many these lines? Like this is like vertically, it's divided into how many parts? One, two, three, four parts. And horizontally are the one, two, three, four parts. Like one, two, three, four parts. So it is like you see that your graph has been like the graph which we generally use is divided. In <coughs> excuse me, one block, excuse me. One block is divided into what bit of? 10 blocks, like 10 horizontally and 10 vertically. So you have to take a proper scale. What you do, you make a line like this, right? From here, you make a line because I don't have scale. So I'm drawing with a free hand, right? You make a scale like here, right? And you just see this. Okay, now it says that. Now I'll give you one example and I draw it for you. Now, I say it like uh, green is being liked by how many students? Green are like been liked by three students, right? And uh, blue is being liked by like uh, five students. And like uh, red is being liked by like two students right this are the like this is the like you have to make and this is what the frequency and this is what your color right and this is your color like by the color so what do you mean by taking the scale so what happened you see that 
sometimes like you draw the vertical now i'll draw the vertical and you make the arrow so i am starting from here this is the point of intersection like where the two lines are intersecting now i'm going to take the colors over here so the colors over here right so i'm going to start with the green so i left one space and then i drew the green right this one will be the green then again i made the space then space and then space and then space right now you see the spacing like this will be one this is going to be two this is going to be three and it can be different also four it can be five and it is six now it says that green so green is what beta three so i'm going till one this is use scale don't use free hand so this is your green right so green now see there's a spacing now the bars are equal now it says the blue is what five so again you leave say so you made a bar like bar of like one block so you again leave a one block and then you make of a five centimeter there's five right so this is right your blue right now it says the red red is what again you leave one space the red is what two so this is how it is made this is your red red is two and now over here you will write the number of students or frequency like right? number of students or you can write this as frequency this is called scaling right so you have to make a proper spacing you cannot just write like first block one and the next block as 15 no you cannot write so the block has to be what equally divided this is the way of presentation right now you just see this take an example the daily sales of the mobile phones in the wiki production is given below draw the bar graph to represent the data now this is an important thing now it says that monday 25 tuesday 13 wednesday 32 thursday friday and this is like this right now i don't have bar graph now you see what are the things that you have to take care of it like there are the steps written so two steps to make a bar graph draw the two lines one horizontal and one vertical in l shape right you have drawn this mark the days on the horizontal line and the number of the phones on the vertical line right you have just drawn this right you have drawn the vertical on the vertical line the numbers of the phone and the days on the horizontal line make a suitable scale for the number of the phone and mark the vertical line let one unit is equals to what beta 10 phones like right now you just see over here this is like one unit this is one unit is equals to what 10 right or you can just write like this also right i'll just take a different color like different very light color and just show it to you so this can be what um so this can be like 10 this can be like 20 this can be 30 this can be 40 this can be 50 right so one unit this is like one big unit this is called one unit right one unit right now coming to this now use the bars of the equal width and draw them the frequency of the given scale right so this is what it is given now it says that on monday how many were sold now we have 25 so you will be giving over here like just like you just left the space and then again i'll use the different color you just see over here this is like he went to 25 you just see this is 25 in the midway between 20 and 30 now tuesday were how many better 13 so you have to just go and count it so you see that the blocks which you have like now it's like see over here so it's you have to just see like this is zero then this is four to one is a 10 so first division will be what 10 divided by four that is 2.5 and this is equals to what beta five then this is what 7.5 then 10 so the graphs which you will be using that is what you have the division of 10 10 blocks right so this is like 13 right then again then on wednesday wednesday was how much beta 32 so see it's like between 30 and 40 right so it's very close now on thursday you see that thursday was how much beta 14 right so this is like 14 and then again on the friday you see that 42 so you see that it is between 30 40 and 50 now on saturday the maximum saturday the maximum was sold that was 55 so see it is in the midway so what happened it's like unit is very important right so one unit is equals to what 10 phones over here if you see the scale i'll be writing this as one unit is equals to one student that's it yeah that i will be writing so this is the way of presentation right and either way you can just present the same data on the horizontal by interchanging the position so this one is known as what beta the horizontal bar graph right horizontal bar graph now just see this in a horizontal bar graph what happened you have just interchanged the position so what you did now you will be saying ma'am why, why we will always put the number of days on the horizontal line and the number of the phones on the like vertical line you can just do the same flip it right flip the same thing so you can just put the days on the vertical line and the number of the phones on the horizontal and follow the same process you will get the same thing right 
So it is like one unit is equal to how much meter? Ten. Again, you follow the same thing again. Twenty-five, thirteen, and then you have thirty-two. Then again, fourteen. Then you have forty-two, and then you have fifty-five. Just see this. This is the way you can do the presentation, right? So you have to you have a bar graph, and that's all, right? So basically, what you have to do, class, you have to do the practice, right? So for this, uh, I think so for pictograph and the tabular form, I think so you're good to go. But for the bar graph, what you have to do, you have to practice, right? And the practice will always. And what happened after? doing the practice please make sure <coughs> you always get your like uh, any one or two examples cross checked by your teacher right or any of your good friend right so because what happened the student doesn't show your work and what happened later on they just create some little mistake so please if you have any confusion please uh, share your bar graph have a word with your teacher ki at least you do two questions and take a picture and send it to your teacher and he he or she might see that whether your graph which you have drew is correct or not right so please always have a conversation and if you have any doubt doubts please ask it on the pdf and with your respective teacher so thank you class so much and hopefully you have understood this thing very nicely so this is a part of the cbse and you can practice from your ncert book and the other books and the next class will be doing the a uh, little bit part which is being taught in the class 7 so we'll be dealing with that in the next class so thank you class bye bye and take care